This route was uh, founded in 1893, 2nd of July, and since then been running almost every day. The route uh, is uh, taken about 11 days in a round trip, and we visit 34 different ports. It's a pretty uh, tough coastline, and we are uh, sailing nearby uh, rocks and in narrow waters, so it's quite a challenging route, especially in the winter time. This ship is a LNG operated and battery. We have um, LNG with uh, NOx X emission at all, and we are uh, reducing uh, the CO2 quite a bit, so low on emission. In addition to that, we have world's biggest battery package in our ship. It's uh, 6,000 kilowatt hours, and the weight of it is 90 tons. approximately three or four years ago a discussion started and we have been learned that Norwegian government opened a tender between the route from Bergen to Kirkenes, Havilekistritten and they opened a file that and asking shipyard who can build this project with the given date. We were the only parties there and we focused on the project, signing it, discussing the details and finally at the end of the day we were able to sign the contract for two vessels. We knew Havila from before, we know designer before, we have worked with them previously. At the time of signing we knew the importance of the project since these would be the first two cruise vessels that would be built in Turkish shipyard and delivered from Turkey on turnkey basis and more important it is for Norwegian customers. We all know they are a very marine nation and they are demanding high standards and uh, one of the other important factors is uh, this will be working in Bergen Kirkenes route which is a very historical route and very important for the Norwegian people. So adding all of these factors we were so glad and happy to be involved in the project. This important project had very much spotlights on itself and it's a challenge one to be honest because it's a prototype at the end of the day there are a lot of measures that you have to consider and in a normal building project even face a lot of challenges both technical issues or other methods and in this one obviously there are things popped up and I think we have uh, solved all of these issues as we should do together with the cooperation of the owner and the designer. And unfortunately, the third and fourth vessels, which Havila had ordered in Spain, didn't go as well as they did with us. I mean, it's the same design, same concept. It's not for me to comment on, but somehow when those projects failed, the owners were confident enough in order to order these two more vessels with the Tersan shipyard. Like a year after, number three and four was, were also ordered in Tersan shipyard, which was a big honor for us. Because so these two orders came like repeat orders. Tarzan is an impressive yard. It's much bigger than the yards we are used to in Norway. We have had a very good cooperation with the project teams here at Tarzan and we are very happy with the results we have got. When you see the quality of what we are building, this is very good. The willingness to find good solutions is really appreciated. So I'm more than glad to come back with other projects. Because of the operation nature of the vessel, this vessel needs to tend to a lot of ports and in order to take embark passengers and cargo and take it to the necessary place. Because of this requirement, it requires a basic maneuverability and extensive maneuvering when it comes to that. We can handle this with both thrusters and azimuth thrusters, which has the capacity of rotating 360 degrees. Due to the natural preservation areas in Norway, there are zero emission areas that requires battery propulsion, and this time is enough to carry out the steaming over there. There are four LNG engines, one of them is 2.4 megawatt and one of them is 3.3 megawatt, two each pair. LNG system requires a ventilation and pre inerting on the gas supply plant that for the safety. The vessel is capable of carrying out 16 knots at full speed. This can be handled by battery or direct LNG power generation or hybrid mode if necessary. In battery mode, the vessel can handle two hours of steaming for almost 16 knots. For LNG mode, it's the same. You're not going to lose any speed or torque at the propulsion during LNG mode or battery mode. 179 cabins for 640 passengers. The standard outside cabins are described as sea view superior that are 20 square meter 
Most of the cabins have large windows, but the luxe cabins, called as junior suites, have balconies. There is also two lighthouse suites that are 45 square meter, have separate bedroom plus balconies with the jacuzzi. We have a lot of things for the passengers to do on board, like be up in the bar, be in the lounge, relax, look at the beautiful view outside sailing along the coastline of Norway. The cabins and common areas, such as the observation lounge, restaurants, differ from each other in terms of color palettes and materials that are used. For instance, the cabins provide a more intimate, relaxing, comforting experience, and the recreational areas are more warm, cozy and energizing. Up on our top floor, number nine, we have uh, an observation lounge and bar. We have windows going from floor to roof, and in the middle there is a window also in the roof where you can sit down and relax in very good chairs and uh, look at the sky, the moon, the northern light, Aurora Borealis, in the winter time and midnight sun in the summertime. The talented conceptual designer of Owner's Choice has talented the natural elements into enjoyable interiors for passengers of all ages and abilities. Fjords, forests, rivers and stone formations can be seen in the design elements of the vessel. One of the main goals of the owner was to maximize the use of natural lighting. Hence, large windows as well as atrium gaps and visual connectivity was used heavily in the vessel. The design focuses on inclusivity, serenity and subtle cues of wayfinding for passengers. When you are eating in the restaurant, the chairs we have here is also very good, high quality, good to sit in. And it's very nice to find your own position and still enjoy the good food, even with some waves, because you will not feel the waves. We do have a stabilizer system on our vessel. During heavy weathers, during the rough conditions of the seas, this stabilizer system will automatically kick in and keep the rolling of the vessel in a safe and minimum condition to carry out for the passengers a comfortable stay. Kusturton series has waste energy management system which is unique to it. Basically, every heat generation in the vessel is not being dumped away to atmosphere or environment. It's being tried to be covered inside the vessel and distributed to the heat consumer places accordingly. This is a unique, huge system for the nature of the vessel and it's very energy saving. Kusturton series are SRTP vessels. Due to complex SRTP regulations, it requires intense fire safety. We have fixed fire extinguishing systems, we have seawater deck wash fire extinguishing systems, and some special areas like electrical rooms and galleys, fixed fire extinguishing system with uh, chemical powder and CO2. Together with the yard, we have built a very modern, very nice and very environmental friendly ship. We should be happy and we should be proud of each other. During the hard times of COVID pandemic, it was a real challenge for us to carry out the process of this whole vessel building. It took us almost two and a half years to complete the vessel as it took place to prepare it for the delivery. With everybody's extensive work and extra effort, we come to this point. I just want to thank also owner, the enemy and NMA who assisted us along this way to carry out the job and finish the project as its time limit. We can frankly say that the next generation ship award, which was named before as the ship of the year, is the most important prize of the sector. It was December 2021 when North Shipping Organization has announced Havila Capella as a candidate for the next generation ship award. It was really honorable for us to witness this prestigious moment during the North Shipping time and to get to accept all the greetings on behalf of the Tarsan team who are the real architects of this beautiful vessel. This prize honors our shipyard being the builder of this green ship Havala Capella. But not only Havala Capella is a green ship, but also our shipyard is a green shipyard using 100% of green energy. We are using clean energy provided by IREC certificated wind farms and also we have our own solar panel systems which provide us clean energy. We are now on our way into um, Geidonga. For the first time in the world, only sailing on battery. So if you uh, hear closely, you will hear absolutely nothing. So this is a big day for Havila Kostor as the first ship into the World Heritage Fjord of Geirongas.